What is up everybody? This is Easy. Easy Street Game bringing you another Brutal Age video. This is on the Chaos World. I know everyone hasn't seen the, the Chaos World yet. I haven't seen it on all the servers yet. This is the second time around we've seen it on server 323. Was fortunate enough to have one of our players get all the way through and I asked her for some replays. She gave me a bunch of really good replays uh, and kind of isolated some of the hardest stages. It's pretty much the end of, it, of each level. So what I've done is kind of picked out the hardest parts of what she had to do to get through each level and what I think she had to do, or at least, and what she had to overcome. In this first stage, which is playing 25, you had to get the first strike and the other team was full of speed. And they also had the Dragon Man, they also had three power attackers. So what she did is she had a shield, which is the Green Catfish Fighter. And then she used stun on multiple partners to try to keep on getting as many hits in as possible. Plus she had to get her speed up on, I think she had the blue black shaman leading. And he, from what I've seen, he gets the first attack every time. So she's okay as far as that particular uh, trial goes. Next one, Forest 25. Now I know we skipped a long ways. And there's a lot of very hard uh, levels in between uh, the last one and this one here. And, I, and I'll get to that in a little bit. But anyway, in this one here, she has to also get first strike versus another speed fill team. She she has to deal with the guitarist at level 40, which is uh, at the heal and debuff. And then she's got two nomads, one god of earth. So it's a pretty tough team that she's that she's up against. And ch changed teams too. Um, brought in two blue. And remember, one of the first things you should check is what color the opponent is. If they have two of one color, it's always just a kind of rule of thumb that you may want to bring two of the uh, restraining color. Whatever, you know, red is restrained by blue. So she has two blue and the blue black shaman and the blue colonel. And also has the uh, the red god of earth and the dragon man. Dragon man, from what I've seen, you don't think that he's getting a lot of stats uh, when he gets the third awakening. But he's really stout at the third awakening. And remember... Um, there's still a typo that's on this chaos wall that says you have to bring more than three third awakened partners that that's not true you only have to bring three or more third awakened partners so you're gonna have to bring one of each color and three of the four have to be third awakened in order to get the third star that's how that's worked so far and i'm sure they'll fix that soon <laughs> so another three star i think all of these are three star attacks now she did give me a list of levels that she was not able to three star, but she still managed to get. I, I guess um, I know I didn't three star all of one of the one of the stages that I was in, and I was able to move on. Okay, we'll take a real quick break from uh, from Zany. Check out the, some of these stats here. If you're wondering why you're having a hard time, <laughs> I'm on. This is Forest Five, and they, yeah, that was 1,700 bonus uh, defense, and. The catfish fighter I'm up against has 13,000 bonus hit points and 14, not, yeah, 1,400 bonus defense. So it's huge, huge stats that you're going up against at a much, at early levels. So check them all out yourself. That way you, you kind of know what you're up against. And then you look at yourself and you're like, wow, well, I've uh, got 500 bonus hit points in, uh, or bonus uh, attack. And he's got uh, 1,400. <laughs> Also, keep in mind that you get some really big bonuses from the artifacts. Even if your artifacts are fairly low, uh, low end, you know, level five or six, you still, I think on Forest, they were giving us a plus 500% on whatever stats you had on it already. And um, if you're reading what's going across the bottom, it's basically saying if you're stuck in Forest, like I was, uh, look at their stats and, and you'll see why. <laughs> kind of went over that already. I, w I was kind of uh, amazed at what I was up against after like the 10th fail in a row at, at a stage that I thought I was going to just blow right by. I, I did really well and then I got stuck real real hard. So, back to Zany. She's on Forest 25. She has to complete this one in 40 rounds. This is probably the second hardest challenge. Uh, she also had to deal with the Dragon Man skill and the retaliation from two red nomads. What she did is she used the blue mat nomad to combat the two red. And then also had stun on multiple partners as well. So that, that's how she's kind of been getting through these so far. I'm not sure what level all of her partners are. But uh, but I'm 
guessing that they probably got several that are maxed out as far as the war patterns so this is seaside 10 I, she said this is another very tough level to, to try to beat uh this is uh had to have 50 percent of the hit points or more in order to get the third star and these are up against four elite tackers uh they have the, the red bape uh the desert prince and the fortune teller <laughs> what zany did she used the, the, the blue colonel which has the prolonged healing i don't even can't think of the actual name for it right now and then uses the stun on the god of birth to slow him down a little bit and then uses the blue nomad and the green demon killer both of them have recovery hit points so that's how she was able to keep her hit points up as high as possible has one healer and then two partners that have the recovered hit points uh, i'm guessing that her bonus hit points on the green on the red guard of earth are probably pretty high around twenty thousand. and you can see that she did pretty well it looks like the green the blue colonel was close to uh 50 and that's about it and if you've ever played against the bape it's not easy <laughs> So that's what you had to do there. All partners had to have 50% of the hit points or more. And then getting the Seaside 13. Talk about a tough team. Two blue nomads. One blue vape. One uh, green vape. This is one partner away from the number one team last season in ranked matches. Which was the two blue nomads. Blue vape and blue cha cha. I want to thank Zanny for sharing all the replays kind of had to cut him down a little bit to try to keep this under uh, an hour <laughs> but having a small problem with the videos going on pretty long so in this one had to complete 50 rounds of debuffs which that will be impossible for some players that that just don't have partners that give constant debuffs but I believe that the tusk is constantly debuffing and you can see that uh, well right now well okay let's put it this way this probably went to a hundred rounds I'm imagining because the babes they're retaliating they're retaliating they're also healing themselves uh, they everyone has artifacts that heals themselves these uh, these matches go on so she's using the catfish which has a shield has a new tusk which I'm thinking that you're gonna see green and the very top of elite rank matches come the, this season uh, I don't know if, it's, if he's going to replace Cha Cha and, and Bape, but he, he'd probably be up there with him. And also, he used uh, two greens to try to help take away the blue restraint. I don't know if I just said he or not, but <laughs> it's a late night recording. You can't hear it in my voice. Been trying to do a lot more with the videos as far as um, getting it out to more people. We're now using 10 different languages. So that's why we've changed the formatting a little bit in the black bar at the bottom of your screen. For most of you, if you if you listen in English, then you'll just see a black bar with no words. But if you are not listening in English, then you'll see the words at the bottom. Just trying to help out the overall perception of the video. Because I am an amateur at this, you know. So if you, it makes it uh, Zany makes it look easy, but it was not easy to get to get all the way past Seaside. I'm still in Forest. And uh, hopefully you'll have better luck than me. Appreciate everyone for watching. Just want to give everyone kind of a sneak peek on, on, on a few different ways that you can beat some of these really hard levels. So I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.